Hey friends, I'm here at the ranch. It's after hours. Um, it's getting a little late, but I didn't want to miss the opportunity to show you what is looking really good here at the ranch as we move into what looks to be an absolutely beautiful weekend, fingers crossed. So let's just go take our walk and see what's looking great. Um, I love doing this with you, so let's go look at some plants. So first off, we're moving in some new house plants this week. And they'll be ready for the weekend. Nice large chefalera. If you need anything large, um, a statement plant for the home, we have those. Look at canary wings, begonia, just glowing. We're close to that golden hour uh, where photography's perfect. These monanthes just got brought out. Look how cool those are. And we are moving our rare section into a new part of the greenhouse, so that'll be fun. Be fun to watch. And the house plant greenhouse is looking really nice. We have a lot of new material in here this week. This time of year, we sort of begin a transition away from like the heavy, heavy, you know, annual planting to just having a consistent annual uh, offering and more and more and more house plants. So new orchids in stock, looking great. Some really beautiful selections here. And African violets again. It's been a while since we had African violets. Yeah, just everything's looking neat and tidy, well organized. A lot of really great air plants in stock right now. And our new rare area will be right over here. So we're still working on that. I've been getting a number of inquiries about whether or not we still have Boston ferns. We do, they look great. We have a great inventory. We have plenty for the weekend and they're huge. These are 24 bucks. And this time of year, there really are a few plants that just really begin to shine. Begonias being one of them. They're looking amazing and we'll see more of those in a little bit. The succulent house is filling up. We're getting ready for our succulent solstice event, and we will have far more than we could ever possibly fit in this greenhouse ready for that. So that is going to happen not this coming weekend, but the following weekend, and the selection's gonna be pretty great. A lot of new cool stuff is out for this weekend. So if you're into, you know, the harder to find Haworthias or, um, you know, just collect your succulents, Definitely don't delay too long, but we are rolling new stuff out every single day as we move closer and closer to the succulent solstice. And here out in our main sales lot, the Coreopsis are looking great. This is my favorite. This is Uptick. And it is the closest, one of the closest things you're gonna get to an annual with a perennial habit. So this plant comes back very reliably. And our black-eyed Susan vines are looking so good. We have them in pink and orange. And lantana. There's always room for a few more plants. And the lantana looks so good in the heat of summer. And the butterflies love it. Vinca. This is Vinca flower. Looking very nice. That one's the tattoo series. And some premium geraniums as well. And our $4 Groovy Deal Lavender here. It's all Munstead Lavender. Looking really good. And Osteos. We are out of the Zion Purple Sun. But we still have this Blue-Eyed Beauty, which is a fantastic plant. I mean, they do not look real. What a nice plant. If you're having graduation parties or anything like that, we have nice large planters. You can pop right down no fuss you have a beautiful container ready to go and the same is true with hanging baskets we have plenty of hanging baskets for the weekend and they look perfect so if you just need a nice perfect hanging basket or if you lost one we still have several hundred very nice hanging baskets in stock with with so many showy things in the nursery we often forget about the perennials but we are coming into perennial season and I gotta hand it to Craig. The perennial selection right now is really, really good. You can see we have, this is this whole area here, other than the baskets, is all different kinds of perennials. So 
just a number of really nice things. Our whole coneflower uh, crop got moved out. So if you're into coneflowers, our different varieties are out and ready to go. Right here, we're seeing the different variety, uh, the uh, Cheyenne Spirit, which is a seed grown variety and you get different colors um, presenting. So everything from yellow, pink, red, very nice. Foxglove looking good. Still quite a few nice foxglove. When you think of Shasta Daisy, usually you think white, but Shasta Daisies have come a long way. This is Lumos, this is a yellow. And we also have Luna, which is a true double yellow. Very cool plant. And then Real Charmer is another yellow. We have different Gallardia, looking super nice. Here's a cool plant. This is called Rattlesnake Master. This is actually a native. Um, sends up a spike of very interesting kind of white globed flowers. I love this plant because it looks like a yucca. Um, it's, it'll grow in really tough conditions, but it's just a super unique plant. You just don't see it that often. Primroses and lilies in full bud. And our zinnias are on fire. Loving the different different types right now. We have plenty for the weekend. And very briefly, I just thought I'd show you our renovated barn space. We don't have fancy tables set up yet or anything, but when you come visit now, we have regular seating and with all the food trucks that we have and stuff, there's now a space where you can just come, relax and sit for a spell and enjoy your visit here at the ranch. Trish has been going crazy planting up our flower beds and we're finally starting to see the return from it. Look at my bananas from last year mixed with that Concolius and then Canary Wings Begonia. And over here we have a lot but this is our final push for the main spring season on black and bloom salvia. I feel like all of a sudden people are really on board with this plant which I'm happy about because it is the best thing for hummingbirds that we grow. What an amazing plant. Now I didn't want to miss the opportunity to tell you about the hardy hibiscus. We're not going to make a formal announcement about these until early next week. Um, but here's your sneak peek since you're watching my video. They're out and they're available. So these are our hardy hibiscus. I'm extremely happy with the way they turned out. Look at the color, the size. They're gorgeous. Um, obviously not in color yet, but if you're looking for winter hardy hibiscus, I think we have about 500 right now. Now they'll go quick once I make that formal announcement next week, but you could always sneak over here this weekend and get kind of a early bird pick. And everything else back here is looking great too. If I'd waited another half hour, the light might be just a little bit better. If you waited and waited for hardy uh, bananas, the hardy, winter hardy, Ohio winter hardy bananas, I still have a number left for the weekend, maybe 30 to 40 pots. So don't wait on those if you really want the hardy banana. Cannas are looking good too. Eucalyptus has been a big hit this year and we still have plenty in stock. We did them in a kind of a biodegradable giant plug this year because we figure you're gonna be planting the thing anyway. No point in, waste, in uh, wasting unnecessary plastic, and it's gone really well. Um, but eucalyptus in stock, there's several hundred available, probably a thousand, and they're nice. And back here in the back of perennials, our shade perennial area is very full of very nice materials. We've been growing stuff all spring. This is a cool Tradescantia. This is similar to Sweet Kate, except instead of blue flowers, it has a pink flower. So those are morning flowers. A lot of nice hostas. I'm really loving coast to coast here. That color is incredible. It's a beautiful plant. Alexandria Brunera, great silver color. Look at the 
guacamole, coral bells just glowing. Some very nice astilbe spiking and more incredible coral bells. That Primo Wild Rose is something. And they go all the way back. We have been getting asked about citronella geraniums. Yep, we have them. We should have plenty for the weekend. And another fun one here is our dwarf Cavendish bananas. So these are actually a culinary banana. They're not winter hardy. You'd have to overwinter them yourself in the home. Um, but they are looking really good. And finally, I'll just point out that the Potter Saloon is full of nice stuff. And as always, you can pick out your pot and your plant and pot them for free right here. And we have more pottery in the main greenhouse too. Well, with that, I think I'm going to call it a night. I hope to see you this weekend. It looks like it's going to be really nice. I believe we have some food trucks too. Um, definitely uh, drink trucks. And yeah, looks like it's just going to be another great weekend here at the ranch. Hope to see you soon. Uh, until next time.